when they ask how do hundreds and after many years thousands of children find us and find their way to Israel. The stories are miraculous and we've written about it and we've told the story many times. So I want to tell you about one little girl named Tanya who was raised as a Provoslav Christian in a town called Zaporozhye in, in Ukraine. And one Sunday after church, her grandpa walks out to the meadows near their village and makes her sit on a big stone and says to her, and starts crying and says, Tanya, you see that stone? About 70 years ago, 68 years ago, this was a barn. And uh, I was a child and I was hiding in that barn. So she was amused that you were hiding. Yes, I was hiding because, because my life was endangered. And the story goes, her grandpa was a Jewish child on a death train to one of the concentration camps. Everybody in the wagon was suffocating and suddenly the train slowed down and a crack opened and somebody pushed this kid out and he ran for air and hid in this barn. And now 68 years later, he tells his granddaughter, Tanya, who he really is. And she asked him, what happened, Grandpa? He says, I was hiding here. And he apparently thought he was from a Hasidic family that all Ukrainians are vicious anti-Semites. But the people who found him, embraced him, and raised him with a different identity. And now the story is revealed. And Tanya asks him, Grandpa, why do you tell me the story now? And he says, because now that your voice is changing, I can hear my mother's voice in you. And uh, Tanya is a very sharp cookie. She Googles up Israel. She finds out that she has a right to be an Israeli citizen. She ends up dragging her grandpa to the Israel consulate in Kiev. And the only words he remembers are Shema Yisrael. And Tanya ends up in, in the airport and we pick her up. And uh, in many ways, she's now a little bit too orthodox to my taste. But when she says, I am. I am a branch of a Jewish tree that is replanted in the soil of Israel. I feel these, this, these are not hollow words. Uh, there is something greater than life in this. And I really believe that God takes care of his people. And whatever, whoever fears assimilation, we see all these sparks coming back to the flame. And Tanya is one of them. And the two words were Shema Yisrael. Shema Yisrael.